Hey all here OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and hands-on review of the Macau Life uh, Bluetooth speaker. It uses bamboo wood as part of the design which gives it a more unique appearance and it also features a rather wide overall dimensions that gives it room for extra passive radiators that promises to deliver more oomph uh, in terms of lower frequencies and bass. Uh, in terms of the overall packaging here, pretty simple. It sells on Amazon for a little bit under $90 which definitely isn't the most inexpensive speaker but uh, hopefully the quality will justify the slightly steeper price. In the box we have just the speaker itself which we'll take a closer look at in a second and underneath we have access to the charging peripherals and the auxiliary cable if you don't want to use Bluetooth. In addition there is the micro USB cable for charging. It should take roughly four hours to completely charge and afterwards you should be able to get roughly nine hours of continuous audio playback before you need to recharge it again. There's also some instruction manuals that documents how to set it up. Putting the box off to the side we can take a look at the design of the speaker next. Again it is much more stretched in terms of its dimensions than a typical Bluetooth speaker. In fact, it's closer to something like a small sound bar uh, because of how it's laid out. And as a result, you have greater uh, separation between the left and right channels, which could be a huge plus if you're using this at, at home, playing back movies and soundtracks, and you wanna hear, uh, again, the action come from different parts of the screen and bring the movie to life. Construction quality here seems to also be quite, quite good, as expected from a speaker that sells for $90 and uh, has an MRSP of actually $200, at least that's what they say on Amazon. So the bamboo wood here has a reasonable overall uh, kind of weight and thickness to the unit. And on the top, we also have some fabric accents just like on many smart speakers these days, whether it's the Apple uh, HomePods or you know something like the Google uh, Home Mini. On the bottom here, we also have two soft touch rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around on a surface on a desk. On the top here we have access to LED lights that will that will flash when the unit is on and when it's paired to Bluetooth. And I do find these keys to be a little bit on the small side. They're completely flush with the surface which makes it a little hard to hit if you're in a darker environment. There's also no backlight for these keys so they could have been a slightly larger even though they are re reasonably tactile especially since they have such a large area to work with. Uh, I would have preferred if they kind of made these keys slightly larger. On the back here we have access to the Macau logo and this entire thing is is where the passive radiator is. So it really has lots of bass, but it is facing uh, to the back. Um, so it's a pretty good speaker. Again, if you want to place, I would say, towards uh, a middle part of a room and you can immerse yourself in the sound a little bit better. On the back here, there's also a USB-based port uh, that also promises to have power out. So you can potentially use this thing as a power bank to charge your smartphones when it's on the go, which is a pretty unique feature. It has a 5,000 milliamp hour capacity pack, so it's more than sufficient to act as a you know quick juice up to a standard Android or iOS phone. Uh, it takes, again, a micro USB port. It can also work when it's being charged, uh, which is pretty cool. And there's the auxiliary port if you don't want to use Bluetooth. Uh, and again, the design itself as a whole, I would say is very classy and elegant looking. Alright, so pausing the music there, uh, what was what I was tapping on before was actually the EQ selection button. There are three built-in EQ modes. The first that it started off with was just the classical mode, and then it changed into the party mode. So in the second change, the sound got a little bit louder, uh, in my opinion, but it got a little bit thinner as well. And in the third time that I pressed it, it changed into the surround sound mode. So that's gonna be optimal for watching movies, getting more separation between the two speakers in terms of the sound. And then tapping on it once more, it went back into the classical music mode. Um, so definitely interesting that you can play around with the EQ settings built right onto the speaker 
just by a tap of a key, but there is a split second delay. Uh, when you tap on it, it pauses the music for a second before continuing. Uh, the overall audio quality is actually excellent. There's a lot more bass than I was expecting. It almost makes the surface uh, rattle a little bit because of the bass, so very impressive there. Um, otherwise, mids and highs sound clean enough. I would say highs uh, aren't quite as you know, acoustic or precise sounding as, uh, you know, more expensive speakers, but overall for something uh, of this size, which is still relatively compact and in this price range, I think that it does pretty well. Um, I would say that the connection range is also pretty good. Now, it, Macau has this one rated at 50 feet, which is uh, longer than the average, which is 30 feet uh, or 10 meters. So you can get a stronger connection even if your phone is playing, let's say, in a different room uh, or, you know, in a pocket somewhere and you walk off, it will still play back the music without too much disturbance uh, or interference. You can hear that as I pause the music, there is no static uh, or, or distortion in the background, so it remains quite clear sounding. Uh, there's also almost no latency at all, so it makes it a great choice again for playing back movies because the audio is really well synced with the video. That's not always the case with cheaper Bluetooth speakers. Sometimes the audio will be uh, a few seconds behind, which can get very annoying when you're watching, ac watching action sequences and movies. So I'm glad to see that on this uh, it actually works really quite well. That's more or less it for the Macau Life uh, Bamboo Wood Bluetooth speaker. It looks good as well as sounds really impressive, and it can almost rival many sound bars because it packs such a punch in terms of lower frequencies and having a good kind of separation when you're using the surround sound mode, especially for watching films. It does well for pop music, it does well for parties, fills up rooms, and uh, even larger, let's say, living rooms and out outdoor environments without any problems at all. Uh, the only thing I would say is that this isn't a waterproof speaker, and because it is made out of wood, you would would want to be more careful about submerging it or getting it wet. Uh, so it's not quite as rugged as some of the other competitors, however it offers very good sound and makes for an excellent display piece on a desk uh, or, you know, if you're inviting people over for some type of indoor party. So you can check out more details about the Macau Life in our official written article, but for now this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.